In this video, I'm going to demonstrate the posterior pass using the VenaPack system. After creating space above the vein anteriorly, begin your posterior dissection. Begin to make a small window underneath the vein and get your blades out early and take the adventitia with your blades. This will help keep your tunnel dry. You want to start dry and stay dry. Use the blades to open the entry point for your posterior pass. There usually are some small vasovasorums here that you want to cauterize to keep your tunnel dry. This extra 30 or 60 seconds will save time later because you will have a clear view of your entire case. Take these small vessels with your cautery and create space to begin your posterior tunnel. This will maintain a dry tunnel during your posterior pass and a technique you will use throughout the entire case. Begin to dissect exactly at 6 o'clock. If you feel resistance and identify a vessel. Rotate the score from 6 o'clock to 9 o'clock or 3 o'clock and use your blades to open up the tunnel and reduce resistance. This technique reduces the chance of creating bleeding during your dissection. So I'm using the blades just gently open that tunnel where I had resistance. Now I continue again right at 6 o'clock. There is no need to do any more dissection than this during the posterior pass. Notice how backing up pops open the tunnel. Now I want to demonstrate branch taking using Eric Ping's technique. Identify your branch, send your blades out about halfway, using the foot pedal, close on the branch, cauterize, and slide the blades forward while you're cauterizing, and that will cut and seal the branch. It's a very simple technique and effective. The branch is sealed, the tunnel stays dry. Continue your posterior dissection at 6 o'clock. If you feel resistance, retreat, spin the score to 9 o'clock or 3 o'clock, and use your blades to open up the tunnel, reduce resistance, and reduce the chance of creating any bleeding. Continue to dissect only at 6 o'clock unless you identify a branch. Here, I feel a little resistance, so I'm going to open the tunnel up with the blades. Any bleeding that I see, I immediately cauterize and continue to do my dissection at 6 o'clock. If necessary, you can circumferentially dissect at the beginning to help pop open the tunnel. During the posterior pass, I will retreat and identify any small bleeders and cauterize to keep my tunnel dry and my vision clear. If any moisture collects on the conical tip, an efficient way to address this is to just do more dissection into fresh tissue. That will clear your conical tip and do dissection at the same time. You always want to stay at 6 o'clock during this pass, retreat, identify any small bleeders, and address them. This will maintain a clear view and a dry tunnel. Here I've identified a branch to the left, and I like to go past the branch on the vein with my dissection about one to two centimeters. 
make a small window with just the tip of the conical tip. Here I have a crossing vessel that I cauterize and cut before taking the branch. I do this quite often and this helps reduce any bleeding that can occur with branch taking. My conical tip has moisture on it so I just do a little more dissection with the top and the bottom of the cone. Now I can see perfectly clearly. I'm using Eric Ping's technique, using the foot pedal, sliding the blades out, engaging the bovey, and then with a very slight twist towards the conical tip, I slide the blades out further while I'm cauterizing on exactly the same spot the entire time. And the branch will fall away eventually as you move the device forward just a few millimeters. <clears throat> Make the tiniest of windows with this device. There is no need to do more dissection than what I just did there. Send your blades out about halfway. Pull the blue blade into the green blade towards the conical tip. While bovying, move the blades forward and the branch will seal and cut. Continue your dissection posteriorly, staying right on the vein at 6 o'clock. There's no need to do any more dissection than what I'm doing. Here I have a little vasovasorum. So I take it with the blades rather than just push through and potentially create some bleeding. I've cauterized that area so that when I dissect, it won't bleed. Here's another small branch. I use counter traction with my inside hand and make the tiniest window again with just the tip of the conical tip. You don't need to do more dissection than this. In fact, consider taking the branch without any dissection. Slight rotation towards the conical tip. Bovi, seal the branch. While staying in exactly the same position, slide your blades out and the branch will cut and seal. If you feel resistance and see crossing vessels, rotate your score to 3 o'clock or 9 o'clock and take both sides of these crossing vessels. Here I'm cauterizing any bleeding that I see in the posterior tunnel and I like to seal and cauterize both sides of the crossing vessels. Be mindful of your score where the window is for the blades to come out. In this case I'm rotating it away from this small vessel to avoid potentially tearing it, cauterizing and cutting it with the blades. Now I continue my posterior dissection exactly at 6 o'clock. I've identified the last branch, the large medial branch, and I make a small window with just the tip of the conical tip. I send my blades out halfway. Cross the entire vessel, close on it, and engage my cautery. I continue to cauterize while I slowly advance the blades all the way out. Finish sealing and cutting the branch as I move forward. The branch is now sealed and cut, but there is bleeding from that area. So I simply go back in and spot cauterize a small vessel that might still be bleeding. Clear off my conical tip, go back to the area, and continue to spot cauterize. The branch is sealed but I'm going to continue to dry this area up. 
just lay the blades down like skis and engage the bovie. Clear off your conical tip. Go back and look at that area. It's now dry. The posterior pass is complete. Before starting the anterior pass, slowly come back and look for any branches at 9 o'clock and 3 o'clock that you may have missed. You have a very open and dry tunnel. It's an optimal time to take any additional branches you see. When you get back to your troll car, hop on top of the vessel and begin your anterior pass.